A realization foreign transaction is nothing but a transaction which is realized. Any forex gain or loss occurs from the difference in exchange rates defined at the time of sales and receipt voucher. In this section, you will first learn how to record a purchase voucher with US dollar currency along with recording the corresponding payment voucher. Next, you will learn how to record a sales voucher with US dollar currency. Let's record a purchase voucher with US dollar currency and corresponding payment voucher by referring to this illustration. As on 2nd April 2021, Sahara Enterprises Private Limited purchased the following goods from Len Supermart Incorporation, USA on credit. Now based on this, let's record the purchase transaction for accounting import of goods. To do so from Gateway of Tally, click on Vouchers and then click F9, Purchase. Click on Change Mode and then select Item Invoice. Next, click F2, Date and change the date to 2nd April 2021. Now, enter the Supplier Invoice Number and Date. Select the party ledger, Len Supermart Incorporation, USA. Accept dispatch details and party details as it is. Select purchase account, imports. Then, under name of item, select Milton Treat Hot Pot with stainless steel 1.5 litre and enter quantity and rate. Then, press enter. You will get Forex rate of exchange. Here, you can change the rate of exchange if required. Do note that the buying rate specified in the currency alteration screen is captured here by default. As of now, accept the Forex rate of exchange screen without any change. The amount will be captured automatically. Then, accept the bill-wise details. Now, accept the purchase voucher accounted with multi-currency. Do note that the calculation of the purchase value is in the base currency and the same base currency value will get updated in the financial reports. Next, let's record a payment voucher by referring to this illustration. As on 4th April 2021, Sahara Enterprises Private Limited made full payment of $1,500 to Len Supermart Incorporation USA towards the purchase made on 2nd April 2021. The payment was made through ICICI current account via cheque. On 4th April 2021, there was an increase in exchange rate and the rate was Rupees 73.12 paise per dollar. To record the payment transaction from Gateway of Tally, click Vouchers and then select F5 Payment. Click on Change Mode and select Single Entry. Click F2 Date and change the date to 4th April 2021. Click on F12 Configure and set the option pre-allocate bills, payment or receipt or journal vouchers to yes and then accept the configuration. In the account field, select ICICI current account. In the particulars field, select the party ledger to whom the payment is made, that is Len Supermart Incorporation USA. In bill-wise details, select the type of reference as against reference. You will get the pending bills, which shows the total pending bills available to Len Supermart Incorporation USA along with the reference name and date details. Select the pending bill amount of $1,500. 
Then, in the Forex Rate of Exchange screen, change the rate of exchange to Rs. 73.12 paise per dollar. Accept the screen. Then, accept the bill-wise details. In the Bank Allocation, select the transaction type as Electronic Check. Here, you can click Show More to select the transaction type as Electronic Check. The amount will be captured automatically. Now, enter the check number and then accept the instrument date as 4th April 2021, then accept it. Lastly, accept the payment voucher accounted with multi-currency. Now, let's learn how to view unadjusted forex gain or loss details in the balance sheet. During the purchase of goods, the total cost was Rs. 1,9650. However, due to an increase in the rate of exchange, the total value has increased to Rs. 1,9680. And the same amount has been paid. Hence, this difference in amount will be reflected as the unadjusted forex gain or loss. To check the same, go to Gateway of Tally, select Balance Sheet and press Alt plus F5 to view in detailed mode. Here, observe that the unadjusted forex gain or loss amount of Rs 30 appears on the assets side. You can also check the forex gain or loss details from the Ledger Outstanding Report. To do so, Press Alt plus G or click on the Go To option. In the search field, type Ledger Outstandings and select it. Select Lens Supermart Incorporation USA. Here you can view the Forex gain or loss details. Let's proceed to the next section.